All right, folks, we've got something quite interesting that we're dropping into here now. I don't know if you notice around us, we've got this big ring circle that we've just dropped into with a stone packed wall around us. And we're on this flat section here. Uh, if you just want to come and stand around here, and then I can, I can show you and, and explain to you what's happening. We've actually just dropped into a really old Zulu crawl, what we call a, a Zulu crawl. And um, it's made up of a stone packed wall that runs around us in this big circular shape. This is quite a nice big one. Definitely nice and it is yep, very big. Yep. And uh, these crawls have been dated back to late 1700s, early 1800s, mid 1800s. This area that we're in, in, in KwaZulu Natal, um, there's hundreds and hundreds of these crawls all over, all over this area. And uh, the reason for the crawl, especially this one that we're in here, is would have been for the livestock. So they would have herded their livestock into areas like this and protected them overnight. These stone walls would have had thorn bushes packed on top of them. On the outside. Exactly, on the outside to protect them, to keep any danger out. They would then herd the animals in here over the night, rest up with the animals in here, and then in the morning send them out again and let them feed and watch them, the herds boys. Mm. And if you move around in these areas, you find these homesteads made up of all these little Zulu crawls. And like I mentioned, this one is quite big, which indicated that it was for livestock. The smaller ones, you get a lot of them together, like a homestead. And what they would have had is a stone packed wall. They w then would have had a, a lattice structure, a wood lattice over structure it. over it in a round dome shape. Like a little igloo. Like an igloo. Yeah. And then grass, they would have thatched it. They would mm. have put grass over the top. And that would have been the roof structure. That was typical building style for the Zulus in this area at that stage. Um, there's a bit of a story behind it, uh, why the circular shape, and even still today they build rondavels, what we call a rondavel, which is a round building round house. with a pointy roof. And the story and the reason for it is they believe that they don't want corners, so it must be round, they don't want corners for any bad spirits it's to be yes, able so. to hide away in the corners of the buildings, which I think is quite interesting. And uh, the round shape as well, I know especially rondavels would have kept cooler in the summer months, it's cooler in a round, in a round building. Uh, so it would have been better to store food sources in the cooler buildings. Mm. Uh, that was another story for, for the round buildings. But um, oh, interesting that these herds boys would have come in here, slept with their, their livestock, and then in the morning they go out, they feed the livestock in the felt. Then they would have it a crawl in a different area. So they would move from here to the next crawl, feeding the animals and then sleep there. Make sure that crawl is safe, pack new thorn bushes around it, and so they would move for days and days and days and end up back at their homestead, uh, resupply, yeah. make sure everything's okay. Always the, I also have found that these crawls are situated very close to water sources, and so they will take their, their livestock, cows, goats, straight to the water in the morning and then continue to feed throughout the whole day. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's carried through, as you can <coughs> see, it's all about location, location, location. I wouldn't mm. mind having a little crawl out here in the bush. Definitely. Great, thanks very much. Let's keep heading out.